All right, guys, what's going on? I wanted to talk to you today about my number one gripe with the Ford Lightning, and that is towing. Now, not towing necessarily as towing performance, but towing range. Towing range has been a problem since I bought this truck, and as I do more and more towing, it's becoming more and more of an issue. So today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about that, show you kind of the towing setup that I have, and talk to you about some of the issues that I'm running into with towing. Normally I tow this boat. This is a 22 foot express uh, bay boat. This boat and trailer combo full of fuel probably weighs somewhere between five and 6,000 pounds. Now this is the thing that I tow the most. And so this is, um, this is not really a heavy load per se for the truck. Uh, one of the things probably that inhibits a little bit of the towing performance is the windshield on the center console. It does stick up, but this is not really a struggle for the truck. The truck does a great job as far as towing performance goes, but where it becomes an issue is in the range. We do a lot of fishing in Arkansas and a lot of these lakes are in rural places. So there's not a lot of charging in Arkansas anyway and there's certainly not in some of these more rural areas. So the best you can kind of hope for is that you can gonna go to a campground and you can charge overnight. This isn't the biggest load that I've towed with this um, with this truck, probably the heaviest thing I've towed to this point has been a tractor. Uh, this is a uh, Massey Ferguson 50 horse tractor on a trailer. Trailer's probably 2,000 pounds dry with tractor, fuel, everything on there. This is probably about 7,500 pounds. I, I didn't weigh that, but that's just a guess. The truck tows it great. It's incredible. Um, as far as the power delivery goes, uh, it's just, it's smooth. You know it's back there because of the suspension, but not because of the decreased performance. One of the things that I really like about towing, whether it's the boat or it's the tractor with this truck, is there's no engine noise, there's no shifting of gears, and there's no hunting for gears. So if you've towed quite a bit, you guys know sometimes the truck can get confused on what gear it should be in, and so it's like hunting for the right gear. Maybe it's not keeping you in the power band, things like that. This truck is always in the power band, so you never have to worry about it from a performance standpoint. So it's just been great as far as the towing piece of it. But again, the range is really where you start to get into trouble if you start to use this as a primary tow vehicle like we're doing now. All right, so we're gonna hop in the truck real quick and I'm gonna show you uh, kind of the towing screen, some of the options that you have and some of the information that you get with the truck. Uh, I do like the interface. I'm going to turn the truck on here and it's probably going to turn the air on. It's a little warm inside the truck. So here's another thing, guys. This screen seems to take forever sometimes to get going. Now, it popped up pretty quick, but if I wanted to like change the air or something, you see nothing's really happening. And then in a minute, it'll take effect and then now it'll start to turn down. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> so. I mean, it's like, that's a small thing, but it's just kind of, uh, it's kind of annoying. Like for example, this morning it was cold and so I had the heat on and stuff like that. If I wanted to turn it down uh, or up, you know, the variations, sometimes it takes a little bit of time on the front end as it boots up. But again, that's kind of petty, so I'm not going to complain about that too much. Again, the focus of this video is on the towing range. So you can see I've got a couple of trailers here. Let's go look at the Express. And so you can do lots of stuff here. You can have maintenance reminders set up, uh, trailer blind spot. This does actually, the blind spots and the mirrors work on this trailer. Um, you can set that up. Um, you got backup assist. This does have the pro trailer. I've never really used that. I used it once just to see if it worked. And it does work, but if you spent your life backing up trailers, uh, it's kind of weird to use this and you know turn it the way you want it to go instead of you know turning it the opposite way so if you've never backed up a trailer before this is probably pretty cool if you're used to it it's probably not something that you're ever going to use but here's what i really wanted to point out to you so you can see that i have used this trailer uh, we've towed it 840 miles it's probably maybe even a little more than that uh, because sometimes if you don't select this trailer as the active trailer uh, it doesn't register those miles but here's the kicker guys Trailer range per full charge, now that's 100%, 159.6 miles, so 160 miles. That is pretty much exactly half of where I am at 100% without the trailer. If you look here, I'm at 78% right now. I've got 241 miles of range. If I charge to 100, it will get me somewhere around 330 to 340. Um, 
it's probably not actually going to be that but that's what it'll show on the screen uh, 320 is probably more realistic and this is pretty much right at half so you cut your range in half now this is not different from a gas truck uh, you know you cut your range down considerably in a gas truck when you start towing but the problem is is that there's not necessarily a place to recharge on every corner and you take some time to do it so 160 miles is really kind of starting to become an issue as we start to travel more I'll also show you something else in here that's really uh, kind of helpful this is all your modes here you've got sport off-road tow haul tow haul mode is basically like a uh, a pedal commander type deal it just uh, it makes your uh, your sh your accelerator maybe a little bit more sensitive so that when you accelerate with a load behind you it's not nearly as noticeable and that's the case I mean it doesn't matter what you put behind this truck it goes and like I said you can set the cruise control going through the hills towing a boat and it's going to pull there's never going to be an increase in noise or anything like that uh, but you can watch this efficiency just go down 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 especially in colder weather uh, so when you colder weather and you're trying to run the heat and tow the boat uh, it can become a real distance issue so that's kind of just a quick video on my impressions uh, of the truck towing again uh, I love it for towing my boat it does a great job but I'm afraid this is probably the beginning of the end for the lightning just because I'm starting to travel more uh, we're taking this boat uh, on lots of fishing trips my son's getting more into tournament fishing and so we're doing more traveling and it's just really not convenient to you know have to worry about the charging to have to worry about you know are we going to make it to where we're going things like that so this this may be the start of something new guys we'll see how it goes uh, but I love this truck if, the, if I could get maybe even a hundred more miles range of towing out of it uh, I think I would I would keep it and I would be happy but at this point I think we're about to outgrow the truck maybe selling the lightning who knows stay tuned for more to come